Hey guys, how's it going? Zoltan here and thanks a lot for stopping by. It's really great to have you here at our base lounge. Okay, now let's get on to our first natural minor scale, which will be A minor, okay? And the A minor scale is a uh, relative minor to C major, so we'll use the, the notes of C major, only we'll start on the, on the A being the root note of the, uh, of the minor scale itself, okay? So let's get started and uh, we'll use our open A here to, um, as a starting point. And if you simply just place your left hand in, into half position, you should be able to play the whole, whole scale without any, uh, any shifts or any, um, any motions. Okay, so we'll start on an open A. The second finger will play the B natural, okay, on that A string. Your fourth finger will be, uh, play the C, right? Now we'll have the open D, keep your hand there. The second finger will play the E, yeah? Your fourth finger will play the F, and then we'll come to an open G, and then we'll round up the scale to an octave A, okay? With our second finger on the G string. And on the way back, we'll do the same exact finger patterns. So we'll, uh, we'll go with the second finger from that G string, playing the A note and then play the open G, play the F on the D string with your fourth finger, now play the E with your second finger on the D string, play the open D, okay, now play the C with your fourth finger on the A string, so we'll come back down to the A string now, and then the B will be played with your second finger on, on that A string, and then we'll play the open A again to finish the scale ascending and descending, okay. Now this is a really great way to play the scale and it's very, very easy and it really just um, really lays really well under your, your left hand. But there is another way to play it and let's get through that now as well. So what we'll do, we'll just simply place our left hand into first position now. So we'll grab that B on the A string with our first finger here, okay. So again, like we did before in, uh, with, the C ma with the major scales, we'll just, play a B flat and simply pull that first finger up to a B natural, okay? And just leave your hand right there. We'll start to play the open A, the first finger will play the B natural, the second finger will play your uh, C, and the D is open again, open string, your first finger will play the E, the second finger will play the F on the D string, now we'll play an open G, and play an, and round up the scale again with that A natural an octave higher with our first finger, okay? And on the way back, we'll play that first finger, we'll play that A with the first finger on a G string, and open G will follow, and then come back to the second finger on your D string to play the F, okay? The E will be played uh, by your first finger on the D string, then an open D, and then the C will be played on the A string again with your second finger this time. And the B will be played with your first finger on the A string. And then the open A will round up the scale again, descending, coming back down. Okay. Now again, just like we did it in the, in the major tonalities, watch your intonation and check your intonation with open, open string. So the B should be a nice one to check against the B, uh, against the G open string or an open E. The C is really nice to check against the G or an open E. The D is open. The E will be nice to check again against its octave E. Yeah. The F will be nice to be checked against maybe a G or even an A. And the octave A here is nice to check against your low A string or even your D string. Okay, either way. So make sure as you go through the scale that you're always checking your intonation with open strings, okay, until you really learn it. Make sure that your, your shoulder comes in, make sure you, that your posture is right, you know, your posture and your positioning is right, okay, and call your notes out just so you repeat these notes and you can really now establish the notes on, um, on the bass so you can really help yourself in learning what's what and where on the fingerboard, okay. All right, so these are very important things and uh, last but not least, sing the scale as you play it because that will start to establish the sound of the scale in your ears. And that's a great, great facility, because once you have the sound of the scale in your ears, 
you'll recognize it anywhere. If anybody will play the scale for you or a sound with the scale, you'll know what they're doing. Okay, so just play the scale and sing it. All right, you guys, now this is A minor, and uh, without any further ado, we'll, uh, we'll get to our next minor key, which will be E minor. Okay, thanks a lot, and I'll see you there.